Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, a new Pragma. I like this game. We haven't heard from this game in a while. Our name's Diana, huh? Oh, it's like an action game. That's that's interesting. that note oh does it say a release date oh <gasps> i think it does is that is that what so we just got a new trailer for pragmata revealing some gameplay as well as announcing another delay it's unfortunate let me explain to you why that's a good thing before i get into why pragmata's indefinite delay is a good thing let me explain to you what pragmata actually is and what we know about it Pragmata is described as a sci-fi action-adventure game set in a dystopian near-future world similar to Earth. The game features two main characters, this astronaut-looking dude, who is the playable character, and this little girl named Diana. Diana is unique. She has these powers that seem to make her very important, hence why the astronaut seems very keen to protect her. We get an idea of what the game is about in the first trailer. The trailer begins with an overview shot of a city that looks like New York. It looks suddenly abandoned, like everyone left in a hurry. But we see one of our two protagonists, the astronaut, I'll call him. The astronaut pulls out some sort of pistol looking thing that he shoots into the air, releasing these green particles. I guess the particles are supposed to help him track the little girl, as after he fires, he flicks something on his helmet and begins scanning the area. He picks up a trace of the little girl and follows it. Thunder rumbles and the astronaut stops to look at the sky, specifically the moon. So right off the bat, we can tell things aren't normal. There's a big abandoned city. There's this weird astronaut dude with all this equipment. The moon is out in full view, even though it's daytime. So needless to say, there's a lot of weird shit going on. The next shot we see is an eye, specifically a little girl's eye, staring at the moon. She must have reacted to thunder as well. That thunder seems to mean something. There's also this weird fucking cat thing that's there for some reason. I don't know. Our two characters reunite before we hear more thunder. We then get this shot, which before I go any further, I just want to analyze this image a little bit. The first obvious thing we notice is this crazy building spiraling and fusing together with nearby objects. It has all these wires acting like some sort of spider web. And towards the top, it begins falling apart and the pieces are floating around. The shot is really cool and it gives us a couple of questions like, did a living thing do this? Is this city we're in real or is it some sort of artificial copy. Before we can think about it anymore, the sky begins to glitch and flicker as the camera zooms in on the moon. That's actually a fake. It's a screen display, when suddenly a satellite smashes through it. Gravity is lost and our characters get lifted up towards the sky. The astronaut reaches and grabs the little girl and swings her onto his back. This moment is where we see how important this girl is. She grabs onto the astronaut's helmet and begins channeling her power to create ammunition for the astronaut's backpack. He then uses that to create a safety net sort of sphere around them. This scene shows us what the girl is capable of. Using the astronaut's equipment, she can create utility for any scenario. I'm betting she needs some sort of resource to do this, which is why the astronaut's all kitted out like he is. I'm also betting she's the one who made the flare that that he shot earlier, as the astronaut used the same type of gun and cartridge. Now, this is probably the most important aspect of the game, as the word pragmata means things in Greek. The little girl can create things, which is obviously pretty important. Now, important for what is unclear. There could be a multitude of reasons why she's important. Maybe she's needed to restore the world from some sort of apocalypse that killed everyone. Uh, maybe she's being hunted by government. Uh, maybe she's not human and the astronaut helped her escape from captivity somewhere. We have no idea. This and the trailer we received today, June 12th, is all we know of the game. We know nothing else besides this. This is why everyone thought it was such a Kojima game, as we don't know really anything and we're just kind of left to think about what all of this is. The satellite smashes into the tube but they bounce off and watch the structure crash into the building below. Our characters, however, continue to float upwards before being vacuumed out from the hole the satellite came in from. We see they're sucked out into space onto the moon, Earth's moon, the real Earth. They land safely. The girl, not needing a helmet, looks up at the astronaut and asks, What is that? And he responds, Freedom. Our freedom. And the trailer ends. So this game definitely looks unique. It almost looks like a Kojima game from how unique it looks. I can't wait for it to come out in 2022. Aw oh, man. That's fine. 2023 isn't that far away anyways. We'll be enjoying it before we know-
So this is the part where I actually talk about why this is a good thing. So Pragmata is pretty ambitious for a title, to say the least. And these consistent delays don't make this look good. The fact that this time around they decided not to give a release date is really, really smart on Capcom's part. This allows the devs to take the time needed to work on the game without feeling rushed or pressured to get things done as quick as possible. And the fans seem to be taking this all pretty well. Everyone that I've seen has had the same positive thoughts. I'd rather them say that the game is delayed until further notice than come back when they're ready. Ready to show more or ready to release the game entirely? In the meantime, let's take a look at this new trailer. This time, I'm not going to give you a play-by-play -play on what's going on. I'm taking a more observing approach. The trailer opens up with a girl crouched on the ground hovering over something. Surely she's writing something cute that has nothing to do with the game. The astronaut calls out her name, Diana. We finally learn the girl's name. This trailer has far more action than the previous one, and we can see that the astronaut is fighting with these Fallout 4 synth looking guys. The astronaut picks Diana up and rushes out of the room, where we're shown flashes of gameplay. It looks like there are more exploratory segments where Diana isn't on your back or falling behind you, and instead exploring with you. The duo seem like they're in some sort of space station, no other living beings. We then see some combat sections, where Diana's on the player's back. There's dodging and sprinting, but we don't see the playable character fighting back with melee or guns. We see this big ass robot, which could be a boss or a mini boss, and he drops like 20 missiles, like holy sh**, bro. We see Diana ready her power before the trailer ends, with a note from the devs apologizing for another delay. So yeah, that's all we have right now. It's not much, but it certainly has a chance of being pretty big. I, for one, am probably gonna get it regardless of reviews, as I'm very interested in the character and the world design. I honestly wasn't expecting it to be an action game. To be honest, I didn't do that much digging into it after the trailer released about three years ago, so I was pretty surprised when I saw this. I was under the impression it would be a game similar to Death Stranding. It certainly gives me the same vibe, but if it didn't have action, I don't know what it would be. I'm really hoping this isn't some super ambitious project that gets delayed multiple times before being outright canceled. Capcom has stated their apologies to the fans and claimed they're working hard to produce the best game they can, but words? or just words. And while I'm not doubting the devs, I'm actually rooting for them. Games can get canceled. I don't like it, but my hopes are up. Let me know what you guys think about Pragmata as a game as well. And what do you think about the delays? Are you worried this game is never gonna come out? When do you think we'll see the game again? I'm hoping for a new trailer soon. And will I upload this video? Hey, thanks for watching. This video was kind of a spur of the moment idea I wanted to do. I've always wanted to make videos like these for a while now, but all my ideas have just been way too big for me to tackle. So after seeing the Capcom showcase that just happened, I thought this would be a perfect idea to start my channel with. I don't know if I'll make any more of these. I'll be kind of surprised if this one even comes out. But if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments. Maybe leave a like. I don't know. It's your life. I don't have anything to plug, but my semi-inactive Twitter, so follow me over there if you think I'm funny. That being said, I'm out of here.